All right, Bob, let's discuss all three Canadians playing on the international team this week, starting with Taylor Pendrith, who's had a, a life-changing season, to put it lightly. What strengths does he bring to the international team this week? Well, he's kind of got both ends of, uh, of the game maxed out, right? He hits the ball a long way. He's in the top 10 in driving distance. He also putts very well. He's in the top 10 in strokes gain putting. That's not a combination you see that often from too many players. And I think Taylor has really, really worked on his putting, and he's kind of dialed his driver back just a touch to kind of gain a little bit more accuracy with it, but it's still a long way out there. He is so calm. He is so collected. He don't look, doesn't look like there's a lot going on. Uh, at least outside you look at him he looks like he's just playing a Sunday match with his buddies or something but I think inside there's this drive for him to kind of produce and he really wants to do a lot better than he did the last time in Charlotte where he uh, failed to get a point. Yeah Bob I'm glad you mentioned the last time around in Charlotte where both Taylor Pendrith and Corey Connors they both clearly didn't have their A games but when you look at Corey Connors he's had a really consistent season coming off a good finish at the Pro Core Championship too. What lessons do you think Connors and Pendrith can take from the last time around the President's Cup to apply this week on home soil? I think just having been through the, the experience once is a big learning curve and, and it's something you can now sort of put behind you and you, you know what to expect when you get here. There's a very different atmosphere. It's a very different uh, preparation. You're on a team bus. You come with the team. There's, there's a lot of pressure on you because you're playing not only for yourself, which you do normally week in and week out, but you're playing for the other 11 players and all the captains and the assistants on there. So there's a lot that goes on that you don't experience week in and week out. Now they know what that's all about. Now they know what they're going to do. Now they know what their roles are going to be. I'd be very shocked if these two players didn't get a bunch of points for the international side. Now both Pendrith and Connors have that cool, calm and collected demeanor, if you will. As for Mackenzie Hughes, he's been known to get a little fired up at times. And he has that incredible short game as well, Bob. What are you expecting from Mac this week? Well, he's a rookie, but obviously this was a, a, an experience that he put on the top of his list. He said he would rather do this than be on the, in the Olympics with representing Canada. He really wanted to be here. I think it was a, a point, there, there was a point at the during the uh, FedEx Cup playoffs where he thought he'd played himself off the team. And to get the call from Mike Weir, I think is very special. But as you said, he's an emotional guy. I wouldn't be surprised if he's the guy on the first tee where they've got seating for about 3,000 people who gets the crowd up and says, let's start cheering while I hit this shot. That could be that. But I think he's going to be a feisty guy. I think he can really do a lot with that short game, holding long putts, holding out from off the green. He's done that quite a bit. He did that uh, last week at the Pro Core Championship. I mean, he's a guy who can really change the momentum of a match very quickly with his, uh, with his assets. All right, Bob, I'm going to put you on the spot here. The three Canadians playing this week, Pendrith, Connors and Hughes who finishes with the most points I'm gonna go with Taylor Pendrith I think he's gonna be the guy who's gonna win a few more points I just think he's got a lot of assets and I think he might even play a little bit more than the other guys we'll see I have no do no no idea which one will be the best but hopefully all three of them get to contribute and be a big part of this team it's been a life-changing season for Taylor Pendrith looking to continue that this week at the President's Cup.